So YouTube removed my last video and that pissed me the hell off. My God. How exactly did this happen? My last video was episode 3 of the Not So Witty Show featuring Benjamin Kempe. And in the show, I asked him to spell out a German word. And the punishment for if he spelled it wrong, he was going to get pepper sprayed. I was never going to actually pepper spray it. Eventually, he spells it wrong and he was never going to get the, uh, the spelling correct. It then cuts to me and him outside and I shot him with an airsoft gun. This was actually promoted by him. Originally, I wasn't going to do this. He brought up the idea of doing it. He decided we are going to shoot this with the camera. And then we shot once with him wearing a jacket so I couldn't feel anything. He's like, Isaac, we're going to switch this up. Let's try doing it with only a shirt. So it looks more realistic. I said, okay, Ben, you sure you want to do this? He said, yes, yes, yes. So we did that. And that was part of the air. And then after that, we went into like a, and then after that, they cut, we throw a jacket on him. I wear a jacket and it's like a full airsoft war with some like first person's perspectives. And it cuts back to a third person's perspective later on. And because of this, YouTube took down that video a lot. Well, there was a whole interview. They took down the entire video due to child endangerment. How did it happen? Well, more than likely, this is how it happened. When you're on a YouTube video, you can hit like little three dots in the corner and you can like report it to YouTube. And one of the things actually on there is child endangerment. What I'm guessing happened was that someone reported for child endangerment and then a YouTube rep probably watched through the video. But due to the fact that my channel is so small, I can almost guarantee you that no actual representative from YouTube watched the video. And as soon as the first person decided to flag down the video, it got taken down. After I got taken down, I was able to file an appeal explaining my reasoning behind the story and what was actually going on to YouTube. I typed it all out, explained everything, and I submitted it to them. Within like five minutes, I get a response back saying, your appeal has been denied. More than likely what that means was that no actual person read through the appeal, but instead a bot closed it down. I believe though that actually no YouTube representative had anything to do with this whatsoever, and that only one person out there filed a complaint because so they were a little bit butthurt and was able to take down the entire video. Why is this so hard being a small creator like this? I don't have any way of going to get justification for this. So the appeal system is there to work, but the appeal system does not work for smaller creators. It's been proven even for bigger creators, the appeal system never works. The chances of your video actually getting approved and put back on air is like, it's very slim. I don't know the exact statistics, but it's extremely slim. And the fact that I have less than 40 subscribers right now means that that, that, that chance is almost 100% that it was not gonna get taken back on. No actual person did anything. You get a bigger creator like Jay Slat, who's able to show guns multiple times in videos and threaten people actually with said guns, and nothing happens to them. Those are real guns. Or they're actually more realistic looking. They may not be real. They may just be prop guns. My guns I were using actually had orange tips, but due to the fact that I'm a smaller creator, YouTube does not care. I'm not making them any money, so why should they care about what I, well, why should they care about what I'm doing and my feelings? There's no need for them to do that because it's not profitable to them. We also think of a bigger studios, like let's just take, for example, the Eric Andre show. There's clips on YouTube with him shooting giant guns at like his guests, I'm talking like AKs. What exactly that is though, is that they're not actually shooting. There's, gun, there's sounds playing in the background and explosions going off to make it look like bullets are flying. No bullets are actually flying. That is no different than shooting a person with an airsoft gun because airsoft can't actually harm them. Due to the fact that his show is owned by a studio, he gets a pass because once again, that studio is making YouTube a bunch of money while my channel isn't making them any money. How is this detrimental to my channel? There's actually a rating system on YouTube of the channels, or there used to be at least. There's, there's a lot of evidence that it still exists. A rating system of channels and like what their places are so that they get more promotion or less promotion. Because one of my videos had to get actually get taken down by YouTube, my channel would have more than likely moved down inside that promotion. Now all of this promotion thing, YouTube has not confirmed it, but they found it a couple of years ago. I think, I think, I think 
2010 ish, there was actually a leak of it and you could view where you were at. Singling, uh, that probably more than likely still exists and there's ratings based on channels. With the video getting taken down, my channel rating probably dropped a bit due to the fact that when one video gets taken down, that channel channels usually have been shown to do worse. And it also means that they're more than likely to get more videos taken down in the future, which makes creating more videos of the not so witty show very difficult for me to do, knowing that I might put in, you know, like 10, 20 hours, make, writing jokes, filming it, editing it, making thumbnails, um, just trying to get people to view it just for it to get taken down, which is just, it, it just, it sucks. It sucks waking up. This is what happened to me. I woke up in the mid, um, Woke up and I was about to go to school, I get a notification from YouTube Studio saying my video's been taken down. And that just sucks. How did I actually get the video back though? Many people, many people may be wondering. Um, once a video gets taken down like that, there's still, you're still able to open it up through the YouTube Studio app and change the, the, the link itself. And by changing some numbers around and some lettering around, I was able to view the video, but only in 380p, which if you guys know anything about video quality, that is, that that's not good. So then I was able to screen record that, add, delete the parts I needed to delete, explain a little bit, and re-upload the video. So that's why it's still on YouTube, but it's a very much neutered version of the video. So going forward, I am, General, genuinely scared of what may happen if I make another iWitty video or an, another not so witty video and how I plan on doing this because I, I want to make the jokes I want to make well I, I want to make what well, I want to make and nothing's gonna stop me from doing that so if I want to use an airsoft gun from now on I plan on having giant flashing letters screaming it's a toy gun and then me just saying it's a toy gun and me in the background going it's a toy gun it's a toy gun to make everybody know there's no actual harm there because I don't I can't deal with another video getting taken down like that It's extremely extremely difficult to me. So uh, thank you guys for watching um, I hope this cleared up some stuff and uh, yeah next video for the not so witty show will be out next Sunday wanna, Bye Life's a challenge so for balance had to write some wrongs live how I wanna cuz I'm freer than a bird song